Okay, so how to reset your life when your life is literally in shambles. So I have had a lot of things going on in my life that I feel like everything is so out of control and I had always been wanting to start a YouTube channel so might as well make my first video about me getting my life back together. Why is my life in shambles? Well, number one, I'm seven months pregnant. Uh, my car got stolen about a week ago. Um, I am completely almost out of, of emergency funds. I had a lot of things come up. I had to repair my roof for like $5,500. I had to, before my car got stolen, I had done like maintenance on it, which was about $2,500, which is the reason why I'm even more mad about the fact that it got stolen because I had spent so much money doing repairs on that. Um, because of my pregnancy, I've had over like $2,000 worth of medical costs, which I've been paying out of pocket. And earlier this year, I had to do some dental work for like $1,005. Um, overall, I've spent like $10,000, oh, more than $10,000 with all these little things that have come up. And it stresses me out that my emergency funds are basically, they're done. <clears throat> In my car, when it got stolen, my purse was in there. So my purse got stolen, my sunglasses, my planner, my driver's license, my passport, um, my canister of pills, what else, a coat. Just little things that I use on the daily. So since I don't have a planner on me, I feel like I don't have control over a lot of things going on in my life. I don't even know what day we're on, I don't know what bills are coming up. So um, basically this first video is going to be me trying to figure out what I need to do to get at least back to square one <clears throat> and just take it from there, okay? Um, something else I wanted to talk about aside from all the things that have gone wrong, I want to also talk about the blessings that have happened or not happened but I I have to realize that I have to be honest about the fact that there's a lot of blessings to become like that have helped me try to go through all this um, my parents let me borrow their car which is like a very old Buick it has a lot of little things wrong with it but it works and it's getting me from home to work and work back home so I'm very thankful for that. Um, I'm very thankful that I actually had an emergency fund in place because that means I would have been at least $10,000 in debt if I didn't have that. And I'm glad that I, I, I at least have that even though right now it said almost zero. Um, I'm gonna, I have a job. So thank God I have a good job. Uh, I'm gonna keep working, keep saving for my baby and hopefully I'm able to save enough to where I can cover all of the pregnant, all of the delivery costs and I can stay out of debt. I will have to go back to debt with the purchase of a new vehicle. It's something that, that me and my fiance have been talking about because of the baby. And we have been wanting to wait a little bit. I didn't want to jump into having a new vehicle right away, but and because of this, we're going to have to. Um, what else? And I'm very blessed with the friendships that I have. I had a, f I, in the midst of all this, I have had friends call me to like, help me get things that I need that I'm not really thinking of right now because I have other things in my mind, like with the car and the baby and all that stuff. One of my friends called me last week and was um, telling me that there was a friend of hers that was trying to get rid of a bunch of girl baby clothes. So I went to buy to pick some bags up and she gave me so many things that are going to be really helpful for me right now with the baby. And then another friend called me today <clears throat> uh, telling me that she had a lot of maternity clothes. And I haven't been wanting to spend money on maternity clothes because I didn't just I didn't want to have that expense. I've been working with whatever I have in the closet, but 
I think it's time. So um, the fact that my friends have been there for me, even though these little things are very small, I'm very thankful for them. And I know these are like blessings that I should be grateful for that are really helping me out. Um, what else? I am thankful that I, I have good credit. So the car search has been easier and it's it's not going to be as bad as I thought or as bad as it it is in this type of economy with high interest interest rates and high inflation rates. So all in all, all of that to say I my life is in shambles, but we're gonna we're gonna try to get by it as best we can and I can't say that I'm starting from step one, but we need to start again. That way it doesn't get worse. Okay, so first things first. Um, since I don't have a planner, I am a list kind of girl. So I have this little book that I got from Dollar Tree. It's a dollar and it's just a journal. And um, I'm going to start with this. I already had it in my closet. I had already like some notes. And then you can see. Um, for like recipe that I, I didn't need. I just ripped those pages off and I'm just gonna use this to like keep all of my thoughts together. And this is step one of getting your life back from the shambles. Okay, so things I need to do. Okay, so one, buy a planner. Um, number two, I need to buy a purse. Um, I need to, I already cancel my card, but I need to go on apps, change credit card on apps. So that's cash app. Sell Venmo bills I also need to take a picture I like to take pictures of my debit cards because in case they're not on me I can pay a bill online and not have to worry that I don't have my wallet. I just have my phone and I just pull up the picture and that takes care of that. Um, I need a new pill case. Bye. What else? I think that's it. Okay. Once I have those things, I need to create a new budget. Password key on planner. Compare dealerships for the Avo. I need to apply for a new passport. What else? I think that's it. I think that's it for now. I'm not gonna go over overboard because if I'm too over, if I put too much on my plate right now, I'm gonna go insane. 
So I am going to just focus on these and get my foot out the door. So the next step, it's, it's better, it's easier. Okay, so by the next weekend, I should have all of these already in place. I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait like a day. I'm not even gonna wait that long. I'm probably gonna go to Dollar Tree and get most of these things. Anyways, I just wanna say that thank you for listening to me rant about the fact that my life is in shambles even though there's going to be some people who don't believe this is shambles. It is it is low for me and it's it's taking me to a really dark spot mentally. But I refuse to stay there. And if this helps anybody get a little motivated to not stay in their dark space, then I guess it was worth it. I guess that's it for now and I will keep you posted if I make any advances on the things that I need to get my life back together and get out of the shambles.